Hi guys, this is Ian and this is my 3D printing update. Uh, it has been a long while so I've got a couple of apologies to make. I guess um, I apologise for the uh, long delay in getting a video out. I've moved house, so which has all been very exciting, also an awful lot of hard work and has therefore meant that uh, I've not been printing uh, as much. There was a, a period of about a month that I wasn't really printing at home and the, obviously there's fun and games and actually getting to the house, getting everything set up. The house, family house, uh, is the priority and then the, the workshop comes a, a, a second to that. So um, I'm, I'm getting there, uh, slowly but surely. There's still quite a lot of work to be done. I've not got a permanent power supply out to the workshop as yet. And uh, once that's in, then I'll, I'll feel a bit better about um, printing longer projects. But at the moment I've tried to keep them fairly short so again apologies for the long delay in there apologize also for the noise in uh, in the workshop at the moment all the printers are going all my equipment is still packed up in boxes so um, I'm just trying to make do with the microphone off the phone off the uh, phone headset and <clears throat> I've also uh, lost my voice in the last uh, week or so so uh, it's coming back slightly so i'm hopefully you can uh, you can actually hear what i'm saying um but i, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd start with a couple of apologies and I, I suppose i should do really also apologize for the fact i really need a haircut but you know that's more more to my wife that i'm apologizing than uh, anybody else so what to talk about uh obviously i haven't decided to to make an update video i had a a little scour of my brain to think what could I actually talk about. There was more than I was expecting. I made a list and um, I'll, I'll try and get to everything on there. Um, I will have to keep referring to the list because my memory is not as it used to be. So the uh, first thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, this was kind of one of the, like, the first thing that I printed uh, when I set the printer up here. Um, ignore all the, the bits and bobs in there, that's just what I use it for. But this was uh, designed of course by my good friend Tom Jackson and uh, a bit of a Tom squared. This is Tom's 3D pre, uh, Tom's 3DP Infinity Blue from Das Filament, and it's it's actually a really nice. It's, it's a very subtle shine on it. You can probably see there the glitter, uh, but it's really nice. Um, I love the colour as well. So that was um, that was something that I had from Das Filament on a, a master spool and I'd been trying to get round to, um, to printing on it, but I decided to leave that until after I'd moved house, so, so that's what I did. So but while we're on the subject of, uh, of Tom Jackson and a friend, um, this is a bottle that I designed for him. I actually designed it um, back last year, um, just before TCT. He kind of, uh, he was talking to me about some bottles that he was trying to print for um, filamentive stand so I, I designed this and then never really never really finished that I didn't finish the, the thread on the top so printed this um, as the, the first print that I've done of it and as you can see it is absolutely a glorious finish and um, that is obviously it's protopastis high five blue uh, HTPLA vision 3 I think it is and you can just see the Filament Frenzy logo on there. Unfortunately, the, um, the design is not quite right. I don't know if you can just see that, the, where the thread is, uh, just because it, it, it overhangs. So I hadn't really thought that through properly when I was printing it. So I'll have another go at, another go at printing that, but um, I was quite pleased with the way that came out. Um, but certainly the finish, as I say, is fantastic. So I, I, I think it'll finish up sat on the shelf anyway, because the finish is so nice. Um, and while we're on Proto Pasta, then I did also print. Uh, this is going to be difficult to to get in this light, but this is the metallic um, purple, the Galactic Empire metallic purple, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's really nice. And again, you know, the the finish of the HTPLA is is super nice, and that's. I thought it was fairly fitting for the uh, for the Galactic Empire that my British um, Galactic, uh, Galactic British Empire playset model uh, came out. That's one of my favourite ones, which is the, the Whittle Starfighter. And didn't make a canopy for it, but I, I just printed that out. It's quite nice. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, um, another thing to mention is that the CR10 over in that corner is printing again. So, you know, it's been a while. Um, various issues. I had to replace the, the extruder with a bomb tech kit from MVO Engineering, which um, is really good and it's uh, really nice. It, it's got the added advantage that it takes the uh, filament feed away from the lead screw, so that's good. <laughs> um, but at the same time, there was I had other issues before that with that, so the glass wasn't flat. I've, I've put that out with a mirror. The uh, the actual extruder stepper motor had uh, had seen better days, so I replaced that. And the hot end, um, I kind of replaced that with a, a full um, pre-wired hot end <coughs> on there. So still kind of um, a stock part, but uh, just a new one. Just felt it was time to kind of uh, to walk that. So. Uh, big printer, uh, still probably a couple of maintenance kind of things to do on there, um, but I, I've done a couple of prints already and um, obviously I have to do a maker coin and um, that's my yet another vase YAV3 uh, at 50% um, and both came out pretty good. Uh, one or two slight issues, but um, I, I think that there's, there's a couple of tiny mechanical issues to start out now. But otherwise, uh, everything seems to be good. So, so it's good to get um, to get that back and running. Uh, staying with Creality for a moment, I've uh, I've bought uh, an Ender Three. Uh, it seems to be the uh, <coughs> a bit all the rage at the moment. So again, Tom Jackson recommended this one. Um, He'd been printing with it and has had some really good results. If you've seen on Twitter some of the uh, the Iron Man uh, photos that he's posted are ridiculous. So um, I decided to get one. I did. I ordered it from Amazon Prime, so it was 195 pounds uh, UK. And but obviously came the next day and and then has sat in the box for a few days since. So I've not really got the time or the. Um, the space just at the moment to put it together but I know it's not a, a massive job putting it together but uh, I just want to make sure that I've got everything else sorted first so we'll a little bit more tidying up hopefully I'll get to uh, I'll get to the end of three later on in the week um, well I'm having a drink uh, I guess I could mention my um, tall ball so tall ball you, you may have seen uh, me printing quite a lot of these in the past. This is uh, a glorious red pet G. Oh, that reminds me. I have a big bag of samples from Spanner Hands to print, so um, I'll be getting to them soon as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but as I say, the, the tall ball, I've printed this um, all sorts of colours, and um, usually I've been printing it. 50% but then I suddenly realized that if I printed it 100% but hollow with no top layers it actually gives me some nice camera angles to uh, for taking photos to show filling off so quite like it as a test and also I mean I guess it could work as a pot but um, so I, I it worked on that and then um, that I printed another one and you may have seen this on Instagram and Twitter um, because this is the this is luminous green from filamentum, but it's flex fill. So um, as you can see, it's it's really squishy. So uh, it was a bit of fun. And somebody, I think it was it was probably Chris. Um, was it Chris Practical Printing? I think um, wondered whether it would make a, um, a nice koozie for um, for drinks, and that was because I um, I printed one. Basically, the power had been pulled. As I said before, I've not got permanent power yet in the workshop, but the power had been pulled part way through a print, and he was wondering whether that would just make a QZ as a failed print. <clears throat> I've not tried it with Red Bull yet, maybe it was, but it's it's not quite the right size for, for a can of Coke. However, I did then go back and um, make a, a variation on the theme, which is quite a, a simple one, but um, that would quite happily be accusing so that is in the uh, filamentum purple red which I, I saw they they tweeted um, I can't even remember what the model was but they tweeted something in this I think it was probably one of Fernando Jerez um, crazy wavy bowls 
and it looked really nice and I suddenly realised that I had a spool of this on, still in its box, still wrapped, um, that I'd not, I'd not tried so I thought, oh, I, I'll, a good excuse, I'll get that out and try it and as I say, a variation on a theme of the, uh, of the tall ball printed that, so that was quite good. Um, speaking of Fernando Jerez, um, I'm currently in the process of a sneak peek. Oh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I'm printing the pod walker. So um, I just decided to, to do it in a, a couple of, again, colours that I've not really printed much of, um, filamentum, um, melon yellow and the uh, green blue. Uh, the main colours, I'll, I'll be using a couple of other filamentum colours in there as well for the for the other parts, but I uh, just, just really like the look of the model and uh, my plan is that uh, in here I'll finish up with like shelves or whatever uh, in the back so that I can um, put different models up there that I, that I like, so uh, on display, both my own and ones that I print of other people's. Another really uh, uh, fun and uh, exciting for me anyway uh, thing that I'll be doing is uh, printing parts for Joe 3D make a new 3D MN um, for his mural and obviously it's, uh, he's done a community print there and there's I think there's something like 200 and, and odd parts to this mural and I just about managed to get in it was it was kind of just after I'd moved house and um, there was still an awful lot going on and I was that busy that I wasn't really checking um, Twitter and YouTube as, uh, as religiously as I normally do for 3D feed stuff and so I'd, I'd very nearly missed out on it but the um, so that's the, the the downside is I got one of the the last allocations if you like but the upside of that is that it's actually four um, they are tiny they're little um, you may have seen them on my, my Twitter feed um, the tiny little islands uh, in white so I've uh, printed that decided to do them all um, to have a bit of a, a Scottish theme on it seeing as that's where I live and uh, went with 3D print works the snow white filament there to uh, to print those in and uh, obviously I've packed the box with uh, with some local packing materials shall we say so hopefully uh, I'll get that sent off to Joe this week And the last thing that I want to really talk about um, for this video uh, is probably uh, what will be a feature of an upcoming video is that I've, I've been doing, because I've moved house I think mainly, I've been doing an awful lot of practical printing, which I've always loved. Um, that's really how I got into 3D printing, just from my background as an engineer and um, doing 3D prints at work for you know practical purposes and then the idea was that um, I've done quite a few little bits and pieces around the house as well. So then since uh, since we've moved house, obviously you move into a new house and there's all bits and bobs that you, that you wanted to do. So um, a couple of ones just off the top of my head. Um, I've made some um, new feet for the chairs. So the chairs are on, um, the uh, new floor in there, uh, the dining room chairs, and they have got metal legs that used to have kind of plastic feet in the bottom if you like to protect the floor and unfortunately these have all worn away so I've, I've previously made some that, that just fitted over the end I guess um, out of ABS at the previous house but uh, since we've moved I thought right okay good time to go back and do a, I do a better job of that so I've had a first pass at that I, I've actually had two two first passes so I had a first pass and then I had a little chat to Filamentum and they came up with the suggestion, it was uh, Lila uh, Filamentum that came up with the suggestion of using Flexfill because I had been looking at using CPE and it was a fair point, I was still thinking uh, in terms of the old house where I had a stone tiled floor uh, whereas now it's a laminate floor so the, the Flexfill is going to be a lot easier on the floor so uh, that and then also uh, brackets for a closed hanging rail and just the brackets that I could get were expecting to go into uh, a wardrobe, if you like, so a wooden size, so really small screws, and I'm gonna have, I'm putting them into walls. So uh, I just designed something to uh, fit exactly what what I needed uh, in this case. So that's kind of I guess the the advantage of 3D printing and practical printing. So uh, as I say, I'll, I'll talk more about them uh, in a future video. So 
Uh, that, that was really all. As I say, I just really wanted to get get an update out there. It's been so long since I've done a video that I was really keen to uh, to get one out there. Um, so uh, if you've made it this far, it's been it's been a longer video than I was expecting it to be. But if you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. Um, please, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. Tell your friends. Ask them to subscribe. Tell the people that you don't really like. Ask them to subscribe. Uh, that's fine by me too. Um, but uh, also if you could give it a thumbs up that would, uh, I'd really appreciate that so thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll speak to you soon